The man owed $3 billion in loans and broke down just when his cell phone suddenly received a message that a million dollars had been deposited into his account. Immediately, the bank card was credited with $1 million in three separate installments, and he was prompted to buy the time he had given up. Though he didn't know who bought his time, he really received $4 million in his bank card. At that moment, two more batches of $1 million arrived with a note on the back that if you are interested, please get in the car. Immediately after, a long Lincoln drove toward him and stopped in front of him. The back door opened automatically, but there was no one inside. Kevin with curiosity to get in the car inside the car decorated luxury Kevin wanted to ask the organizers of information but no one responded to her questions. Soon after the car stopped in front of a warehouse, Kevin got out and the door closed automatically. He walked down the red carpet and entered the warehouse and realized that it was a performance hall with a table on top of the stage. As he got closer, he saw two piles of money a red envelope, and a sign with numbers on it. He opened the envelope and realized that it was a description of the event, stating that the event did not require any skills or knowledge, and that the only thing required was that the participants were prepared to abandon the time to participate in the event, and that they would be fed in house, and that the prize money would accrue over time. Once the set time is up, the program will end automatically and if any participant dies, the program will end immediately. If you're not interested in the event, you can take the 20 million on the table and walk away. Or if you're willing to participate, you can choose a number and enter the curtain. Kevin weighed the pros and cons of this place. Food, shelter and money. It seems that the organizers do not want anyone to die. It's a quicker way to make money than robbing a bank. He had no skills. Even if he worked all his life, he couldn't pay off the high loan of $3 billion. Even if there was danger ahead, he was a person who wasn't even afraid of death. So what was he afraid of? With this in mind, he chose license plate number 3 and walked through the curtains, through a steep staircase after a large indoor amusement park into sight. The organizers also deliberately created a fake pool seems to be the conditions here will not be too bad. Right in front of him is a 24-hour countdown screen, meaning he can only be in there for one day. The steel door behind him suddenly closes and he can't get out until the time is up. He began to take a closer look at the grounds and a bold red staircase caught his eye. His room was on the third floor. There was no elevator only stairs. His number plate was his room card and when he entered the room he found it empty with only one piece of equipment and a walkie-talkie. There were cameras in every corner and even the windows were simulated by monitors. At that moment, the door to the facility slowly rose and inside were clothes and shoes and a manual of rules. When he opened the manual, the first rule required him to turn in all his belongings and put on a specific uniform. Number two says he can check his accumulated winnings on the scoreboard. Rule number three says he can use the walkie-talkie to purchase any item he needs, but the item will be deducted from his winnings at a special price. Anything used outside the room can be purchased in the plaza, which means anything he buys in the room can't be taken out of the room. Rule number four says he must stay in his room from midnight to 8 a.m. and must not block the cameras. Violation of one rule will result in half the prize money being deducted. The last rule said the show would start at midnight. Kevin hurriedly checked the time and realized the show would start in a minute he panicked and changed his clothes only to realize that all the pockets on his clothes were fake soon the minute passed and his scorecard suddenly read 30,000 which meant he'd net 30,000 a minute it was a great feeling to be able to do nothing and make a lot of money in one hour he made one eight million dollars in one day which is over 40 million dollars in one day he made a year's worth of money in one day he was glad he made that choice at that moment the urge to pee hit him and he asked on the walkie-talkie where the restroom was but no one paid any attention to him he couldn't go to the square so he had to hold it in but the place was empty and cold he wanted to buy a blanket and a hand warmer but he saw that they cost one one million dollars 100 times the normal price he realized the true meaning of the special price the money was good but not this bad he was so scared he cancelled the order after careful thought and calculation he bought a kilogram of old newspaper and a few used cardboard boxes for 120,000 and went to sleep. In the middle of the night, he couldn't hold his urine, so he paid for a plastic bottle. So he lived frugally until the next morning when he looked at his bonus and realized for the first time that time is precious. At this time, there were voices from outside. So there are other people here he went downstairs to the square, including him. All eight people are here four men and four women is really neat and vegetable mix.